In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. So during Lent, we're supposed to do penance uh, for our sins. Today, the prophet in the epistle tells us, uh, once you are, are, are forgiven of your sins, uh, he's, he's the one who's been just, who's been good, and then if he starts to sin, well, his justice will be forgotten, and he'll die in his sins and perish in his sins. And if a sinner starts to do justice, well, his sins will be forgotten, and he'll get the reward of uh, the just man. And so we have to say yes, we have to turn away from our sins and uh, try to get that reward of, of the just uh, by, by not sinning anymore. And this is what our Lord told the man he cured. He found him later. And he says, well now go and do not sin, lest something worse happen to you. So he was lame for 38 years and he, and he could not be cured. And our Lord cured him and uh, it warned him, do not sin now, do not go out and celebrate with a bunch of sins, a worldly celebration, but thank God, be grateful to God, and uh, do not commit sin, otherwise something worse than this will happen to you, uh, and the worst thing would be, you would die in his sins and be cast into hell. So we have to say, no, it doesn't matter how many years we've been good, if we decide to become a sinner, and it doesn't matter how many years we've been a sinner, if we convert and become good, it's how we are at the time that God wants, wants to take us for judgment. And that's how we are. That's how we will determine our fate for eternity. So we want to put away our sins and say, Lord, from now on, I want to serve you and I want to be faithful to you. So let's ask Our Lady to obtain these graces of true repentance uh, for our sins, that we might truly repent, we might truly truly humble ourselves before God and obtain for Him uh, everlasting life.